Hey guys, it's Libby, aka Libby the Developer, and I am back for another video. If you guys don't know, I am a software engineer and I teach you guys how to code in the easiest, most simple way possible. So let's go ahead and get started into this video. Are you struggling with learning how to code? No, I'm kidding. Y'all know I'll keep it rolling here. So yeah, um, y'all look, coding is hard. It is, it's very difficult. And I know as a coding bootcamp student or as a junior software engineer or someone who just entered into their career, even someone that's going, um, that just started school and they're learning um, computer science, it is a very difficult skill set to pick up. Um, so before we really dive into like the meat of what I want to say, and as y'all can tell, I jump into my videos because I don't like when people like waste time. Um, I really just want to establish that base and like validate your feelings um, and know that yes, what you're doing right now is something that, you know, only a certain percentage of the world knows how to do. I mean, last I checked, I think 30% of the world understands programming languages or at least one. Um, so it is a very difficult trait. It is a very difficult skill. So yes, your feelings are extremely valid um, that it is something difficult to do. Um, now that we've laid down that foundation and that base, um, I really just need to let you guys know that as far as me, um, my journey with learning how to code it was difficult. It was extremely hard. Again, just like validating how y'all feel. Um, I say all the time in my coding boot camp, I was like on the to on the totem pole of like who was like killing it and who wasn't. I was like at the very bottom, but in that same breath, I was the very first person to get a job as well. So understand that like my background, I dropped out of college. I didn't drop out of college because I was stupid or dumb or couldn't get it. I I was a pretty decent student. I dropped out because the whole construct and the whole idea of that, of the college process and, uh, you know, learning different topics that are completely irrelevant to what I'm wanting to do. Um, yeah, that just didn't sit well with me at all. And so when I started my coding bootcamp, I didn't have any background in technology and that's another major question that you guys ask you know where was i coming from when i started my boot camp i was coming from level zero um and essentially i went from zero to software engineer in six months um because an employed professional software engineer in six months um but that was a lot of blood sweat and tears um, so yes, your feelings are valid. Your emotions are, va are valid. If no one's ever told you, yes, I went through the same thing. You know, there are a lot of programmers who they started programming when they were 10 and they were building websites, um, for fun. Um, when they were kids, I was not that person. I was always like, you know, the party girl in school. Like I did not, like, I was not a nerd. <laughs> um, even though I tell the time I love nerds, but I, I just, I feel like I need to add context. So I feel like it's even silly to say that, but like, for y'all to really understand what I'm saying, like I was not that person. <laughs> um, so all that being said, if I can do it, you can do it. If I am someone who was able to pick up this skill set then you can do that as well but it's not going to come easy you are going to have to put in the work people ask all the time what was your schedule like when you were in school i coded all day long all night long i barely slept um so if you are looking for something that is easy this is not the route for you yes this career is extremely lucrative but you're also putting in a lot of work to get to that point. Like there's a reason why they pay us the big bucks. And it's, if it was easy, they wouldn't, period. Like if it was an easy job, they wouldn't be shelling out the money that they do to people who understand this knowledge. So, so yeah, um, understand that if I can do it, you can do it. Um, you just have to work extremely hard. Um, one other thing that I want to tell you guys is that like, as long as you're trying, you're learning. And that's going to sound like complete BS, 
but honest to God truth, as long as you are coding, even if you are struggling, even if you've been struggling for a month on the same problem, for a week on the same problem, trust that you are learning as you are struggling because every single tactic that you take to build out that new thing that doesn't work is one that you've learned that like doesn't work, right? So you are learning the process through learning how to do the thing, if that makes sense. And it's not going to seem that way at the time, but say the next problem that you pick up, you'll be like, oh yeah, I know like five other ways to tackle this. And maybe the way that you tried with the other thing didn't work, but maybe that same way works with this new thing. And you've picked up that skill of how to do that thing. Um, so understand that as long as you're struggling, you're learning, as long as you're trying, you're learning. Um, don't be so hard on yourself. Um, yes, you got to put in the hours. This is not easy. So you got to put in the blood, sweat, and tears. Um, but also like, don't be nervous to take a break. One, you know, the biggest epiphanies that I have is not when I'm banging my head against the wall trying to figure out, out a problem. The biggest epiphanies that I have is when I'm working on a problem and it's extremely difficult and I walk away and I have a, a cup of water or I go for a walk outside. That's when the answers like magically implant themselves into my brain. Um... You know, it's funny, one of my, my boss was actually talking about how like he receives answers when he's in the shower. Like it's those times where you're not like trying and like forcing yourself to get the answer when they actually come. And a couple more things I wanna say. Next thing I wanna say is that understand that if you're not willing to struggle to learn how to code, don't get into this career because you're constantly going to struggle. I still struggle. My colleagues still struggle that are ahead of me. My boss still struggles. His boss still struggles. Actually, I don't think his boss codes anymore. I think he just manages. But what I'm trying to say is that this is a very progressive field in industry. There's always something new to learn. There's always, always a latest, greatest, better way to do a certain thing. As soon as you learn a new uh, programming language, there's a new framework that's out for that, something else that you have to completely relearn. Um, so understand that this is a constantly evolving industry and it's one of those where there has to be continuous learning and you never, ever, ever get to a point where you're like, yeah, I'm an expert. I don't know any programmer, even like the top, top, top programmers in the world that I've never heard anyone say like, yeah, I'm an expert at this. Like I can sit down and I know everything about everything. Like, no, it does not work that way. So even today, I am still banging my head against walls. I'm still having to take my breaks. I'm still being forced to learn things that I know nothing about. And I'm having to like Google all of the time. I know a big question that people had was like, you know, do professional software engineers Google all the time, every single day? <laughs> what do you mean? Um, that was a question I had at the very least. Um, and so know that, yeah, you're always going to struggle through this, but I know that through the struggle I'm learning, just as a recent example, it took me an entire like one to two weeks to build out one endpoint. And the next endpoint that I had to build out, I built it out in two days. Like, you know, it was a struggle learning how to do that thing. But as soon as I picked up that skill set, boom, I was able to do it. So understand that that is something that's never going to go away. So go ahead and get comfortable with that feeling and don't feel intimidated by that feeling. Um, and also, lastly, I have a video um, specifically on like how to tackle like technical interviews or um I think I was talking about like how to like ace any coding bootcamp or any coding challenge. It's a video like that, but it basically discusses like different ways to um, different unique ways to tackle when you're feeling stuck on a certain problem. So such as like listening to programming meditation or subliminal, like really unique ways that like 99% of people aren't going to tell you about. I just picked up these things on my own. Um, so yeah, um, but to wrap this all up with a nice pretty little bow, I just want to encourage you guys that you can do it. If I was able to do it from a completely non-tech background, um, and I feel very comfortable with my progression and my growth within this field, I know that you guys can do it. Um, so 
know that you have like my full support, my encouragement. If no one's ever told you that, you know, you have the capability to kill this thing and be a great at this thing. And also like just real quick, now is the time to become a programmer because kids these days are learning how to code in school. So, you know, there's going to be a huge market of of people, you know, 10 years down the line that have the skill set. So you're not going to be as marketable. So now's the time when, you know, it's still like this idea that not as many people know how to code because they have like coding camps for school, uh, coding camps for kids these days. And like they make schools are making it a part of the curriculum. So don't give up. You can do it. Um, follow me on Instagram. Subscribe if you like this kind of content. And bye.